Now, here we're going to look at if I have y equals a times x squared. Now remember, just x squared is the very first problem that we looked at. It has a vertex right here at 0, 0. And if I plug 1 in, 1 squared is 1. If I plug 2 in, 2 squared is 4. And then because it's symmetrical, I know that these points over here, and now I have that graph. And this is just y equals x squared. Well, if we're going to multiply the x squared times a number out in front, let's see what happens to it. And so it says if a is less than 1, meaning if the value of a is less than 1 but greater than 0, so that would be a fraction or a decimal, it looks like it's going to be wider. It's going to make the graph wider than the parent graph. And if that a is greater than 1, then it's going to make it narrower. So the green is the narrower graph. Now, if the a is negative, then it makes it the graph open down. Okay, It's reflected over the x-axis and it opens down. But again, if we think about the negative is just reflecting, then if the value of a, the absolute value of a, is between 0 and 1, then it's going to be wider. And if it's greater than 1, then it's going to be narrower. So now I want us to graph this. So I have two rows here, and typically I wouldn't do this, but if just to show, if we're going to graph this first one right here, and I plug 0 in for x, 0 squared is 0 times 2 is 0. Plug 1 in, 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. When I plug 2 in, 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. I plug 3 in, 3 squared is 9, and 2 times 9 is 18. And then I go ahead and I try to graph this. So looking at my graph, I'd put a dot at 0, 0. Then I'd have one at 1, 2. One at 2, 4. And then, or excuse me, 2, 8. Okay. Sorry, not that one there. And now, because it, and I don't have room to put the 3, 18. Okay, again, this is my x value, this is the y value. Then I'm just going to do the points that are symmetric. So I go 1 over, 2 up, and I go 2 over, and 8 up. And now I graph my parabola. And notice how it's skinnier or narrower than the parent graph. Now if I do this other one, and this time here, or let me, erase this stuff here real quick. Now I plug 0 in. 0 squared is 0 and 0 times a negative 1 third is 0. I plug 1 in. 1 squared is 1 and 1 times negative 1 third is negative 1 third. 2 squared is 4 and 4 times negative 1 third is negative 4 thirds. And then 3 squared is 9 and 9 times negative 1 third is a negative 3. And now I graph these. So again, I have the point 0, 0, then I have 1, negative 1 third, I have 2, negative 4 thirds, that's just past the negative 1, and then I have 3, negative 3. And again, I do the symmetric. So 3 away here and here, and so as you can tell, this graph would be wider than the parent graph. And I know my graphs are kind of small here, but if you plot these ordered pairs on your graph here, you'll be able to get those.